Hey beautiful Aries, how are you today? It's Psychic Medium Tammy coming in for your reading for the week of May 8th. And I just wanted to say before we dive into today's reading, I want to take a moment to really express my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you for all of your likes and subscriptions and all of your comments. It not only helps our channel grow, but it helps me pick up on your energy. So it will help the readings resonate with you specifically more and it will help them be more accurate for you and insightful. So um, just remember they're a co-creative process and they may resonate with you, they may not because they're collective readings and um, if they do, that's wonderful. Please let me know in the comments and if they don't, let it go to somebody else that it does resonate for because they'll switch around um, you know, as, as we go through. But we are just um, having a really magical process here in these readings and it's been really amazing um, being here with all of you. So I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your likes and subscriptions. Um, we've got a lot of really vibrant spiritual seekers here and I just couldn't be more grateful for your support. So thank you. So we're gonna dive into your reading now, Aries, and see what's coming up for the week of May 8th. Well, this one wants to come out already. Okay, so here we have a queen. She's the queen of wands. Um, she's looking pretty stern here. <laughs> we'll see what's going on. First card up, Aries. The very, very serious queen of wands. There's some struggle going on here, Aries. I'm just going to keep it real. Um, this is the five of wands. There's some rivalry. There's some competition going on. Um... For a lot of you, it's almost like people pitting themselves against each other, like almost like groups of people taking sides, which could go to family or friends. It feels like a situation where there's almost like a riot brewing, you know, where it just keeps getting worse. Like, um, I feel like people keep saying mean things and, you know, fanning the flames and it's more a lot of talk. It's it's more um, it's more a lot of verbal talk at this time and arguments as opposed to anything physical. But um, it looks like you're going through a really rough time there. Um, okay, nine of cups. This is a reverse though. It's funny. I'm using all these different decks, and the nine of cups has come up in every reading I've done. I think so far today. So, um, but this is, this is reversed for you. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're not quite getting your wish yet. You're not getting what you want um, yet. It's sort of hanging over you. It's like you're thinking about it a lot. You're just not getting what you want and you may be feeling blocked. This is the magician and the magician is upside down too. So I feel like it's, um, it's blocked. You know, you're feeling some of your energy is blocked and it could, it could very well be from all this competition and rivalry and things like that going on with that five of wands. So Aries, let's see, going into your past is the strength card. So I f this is a good thing because I feel like you've had to flex your muscles a, a lot recently in the situation you're going through. You've had to really call on your inner strength, but that situation is now going into the past. So that's gonna be really positive for you not having to feel like you're always on guard, you know, feel like you've been really having to watch your back constantly and kind of tame the beast constantly. This one really wanted to jump out. Uh, this is the toxic card, you know, the devil card upside down. So it's a release from this, which is a really good thing. I'm sorry you had to deal with this card because it's ugly, but it is a release from this toxic person, this toxic energy, this negativity. Ugh. I can just feel it. I mean, I don't always get such a bad wave of negativity that comes out with this card, but I did just now. I know what you all are dealing with, and it is, um, it's heavy. I'm just going to ask the angels to clear that energy out of the room and off of my Aries collars right now. Archangel Michael, please get rid of that energy. So, Coming up in your more extended future is the Two of Pentacles, and I feel like you're going to be kind of juggling money. I feel like some of you are going to be 
um, borrowing money from this account to pay this account, you know, some juggling around and borrowing this and that. Um, you know, it's not the greatest money card, but it's not the worst one either, but I feel like it's temporary. You know, it's usually a very temporary situation. And I think it's having to do with you releasing whoever that was, that toxic person. For some of you, it feels like a divorce situation is going to be finalized and you're just going to be done with it. For some of you, it may be a separation. You're going to be done with it, but it's going to cost you more money because you got to move or whatever. Um, you know, there's borrowing money. There may be some credit card debt involved and things like that, but you're getting loose from this toxic person. And that, um, you know, it's been costly in a lot of other ways too. So, um, but you're getting there. I feel like you're definitely getting there. This is you. This is the nightmares card. This is anxiety. Um, the nine of swords feeling like you're I feel like you're not sleeping well. I feel like you're waking up worrying about the situation. And the, the good news is it is only a worry card. It's not the card that says it's going to happen. It says you're worried about it. So um, that's a good thing. <laughs> um, here we go with the Knight of Cups. Now this is having to do with some sort of an offer. And I feel like you want an offer and you're also a little afraid of it feels like you're kind of waiting for some sort of a, you know, usually this has to do with love. I mean, it can have to do with other sorts of offers like, um, you know, career and jobs and things like that. But I feel like in this case, based on everything I'm seeing, for most of you, I feel like this goes to love and relationship. You're kind of afraid of that offer. You're kind of like, mm, I'm hoping I get that offer, but then I'm a little afraid of it at the same time. It's sort of a double-edged sword for a lot of you. The final outcome here is the Three of Cups. This is a happy card. This is having to do with celebration in this case. Can have to do with three people um, sometimes and take it as it resonates as to who those three people are in your life in this picture. But it is a happy card. It is showing up as a celebration and a good ending and throwing a party about something, probably getting rid of this toxic um, energy over here. Aries, Aries, you've got a whole new beginning. <laughs> Look at that new beginning. So this is your final outcome for, um, you know, the week of May 8. And I just get the sense here that um, this can be a windfall of money. You know, this can be money you're waiting for um, that's going to come through for you. The biggest thing here, it is a new beginning. Um, it comes with a lot of happiness and uh, a lot of new opportunities. You know, it's very much an opportunity kind of card. So let me switch over and see if I get any more little details here for you, Aries. You all have been going through it. <laughs> I mean, these cards are not kidding around here. This is intense. Oh, this is the bull. The bull card. <laughs> Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Okay, this is definitely validating the strength card that came up earlier that I said was going into the past. Uh, feeling like you had to flex your muscles constantly because you didn't back down. You didn't back down from the opposition. And I feel like this is all going into your path. I'm getting the goosebumps right now. The guides are really validating this. Um, they're letting me know this is right on target for you. Um, either don't back down or you didn't back down, you know, and the situation of having to do this constantly is moving into your past. So just know you're not going to have to do that for a lot longer. That's really, really important for you to know because I've got the goosebumps for sure. This is the staff. It says, it says you will be taken care of in difficult times. You will be taken care of in difficult times. That's very, very good to know. They are really giving you some reassurance. Oops, which one do we want? I guess we want both of these. Both? Yeah, both. The whale, great worry over nothing. That's good to know. And a fair woman, um, dealings or a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So for some of you, I feel like this is one of the three people, okay? In this Three of Cups card that is a final outcome, there's gonna be dealing with her. So take it as it resonates. I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing yet. Um, 
it says it's great worry over nothing, but I think some of you may, some of you may be this fair haired woman, you know, that may be representing you directly. <laughs> but I, I definitely put her in this group of three people here. Could be that the really stern um, queen of wands here that came up first for you, Aries. Let's see. Let's see if they'll tell me more. Hard work ahead. Again, I'm asking about that woman that came up. There's great passion. For some of you, great passion. Um, this fair-haired woman, whether it's you or your person, and spiritual love. So I feel like this could be um, a lover, um, your person, the person you're involved with. Um, somehow this person plays into this entire reading and take it as it resonates. Uh, feel free to switch around the situation. If you are a cross-watcher and your person is at Aries and you're watching it, um, that could be the fair-haired woman or you could be, you know, for example. So, you know, feel free to switch it around as it fits your situation because that's how collective readings work, okay? Let's see if there's anything else here for Aries. Yeah, that just added in a whole new element and a whole new person, which I, I'm not sure it's you, Aries. It feels like it's coming from somewhere else. Okay, the last one I'm getting is family wishes come true. This is the wishing well. Family wishes come true. So with all the situation going on, I feel like your family is being taken care of here, okay? So that's a really good thing. If you're concerned about children or parents um, in that kind of situation, I I feel like that's good reassurance. I think I think some things are going to really happen. I feel like things are coming to a head for you this, this week, Aries. Uh, this is pretty big energy, and I think this is going to carry you through not only this um, week of May 8th, but a little bit further, probably in the next 10 days. I will be doing another reading, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and you can come in and get the update, um, you know, coming up that I'll do midweek. So anyway, um, thank you all for tuning in today, and it's been a really intense, inter interesting reading. Let me know in the comments how this resonates with you and where this is going. This is really complicated. I could probably go on for an hour about this, digging at it. So let me know what you what else you want to know and I'll do that. Okay. I'll see you guys. Thanks. Bye.